Okay, so we just worked through this part in the last video. Uh, if you haven't seen it or you want to watch it again, just click here, click on this button, and it'll take you right back. Um, so basically what we had, that we had 50 grams of hydrogen gas um, reacting with 150 grams of nitrogen gas to get ammonia, and we just wanted to find out which one was the limiting reactant. And well, if you watch the video, we found out that nitrogen gas, the 150 grams of nitrogen, was in fact the limiting reactant. And so now what we want to do is we just want to find out, well, we know that we, this is our limiting reactant, um, we know that we're not going to use all of the hydrogen gas. So in that case, how many grams of ammonia are we going to get? Well, we can tell you right away it's not going to be 200 grams because we're yeah we are using all we are using all of the nitrogen, but we're not using all of the the hydrogen. Remember because this wasn't uh, the hydrogen wasn't fully reacted because there wasn't enough nitrogen. So now right away we can just look at this. Now this is a simple example, um, but in this case we can look at it and we say well. You know, if we're gonna, if we know we're using all of this nitrogen, it's gonna, you know, our, our ammonia is gonna weigh at least 150 grams. Um, but because we're not using the hydrogen, um, well, we're not combining 150 plus 50. So really, just by looking at this, we know it has to be somewhere between 150 to 200 grams. Okay, now that's just that's a little more complicated if, uh, with a harder problem, but that's just some insight into what's about to happen here. So, anyways, well, we know that because this is our limiting reactant. Um, uh, and we're going to have this reacting with some of the hydrogen gas. Well, what we can do is we use the molecular weight, or sorry, just the whole, so the weight of the nitrogen gas that we're going to use. And so we'll start with that. We'll start with 150 grams of nitrogen gas, N2. And what we want to do is we want to put this into, we have grams, we want to switch this into moles. So we'll multiply this by, um, we'll put grams of nitrogen on the bottom grams of nitrogen and so we have one mole wow that doesn't even look like writing we have one mole of nitrogen and we established before that the molar mass we were just rounding uh, and so the molar mass is 28 grams uh, grams per mole of nitrogen gas that is an N2 okay so then what we want to do is we want to switch into uh, we want to switch into moles of ammonia so right away just so we don't get confused, we have grams of nitrogen too, we can cancel that out with grams of, I'm sorry, nitrogen gas. Okay, so the next thing we have now are our units are in moles of nitrogen and we want moles of ammonia. So we put, uh, we put moles of nitrogen on the bottom, we put moles of ammonia on the top, that's NH3. Okay, now let's look at our stoichiometric coefficients. We have two moles of ammonia, put a two there, and we only have one mole of nitrogen gas, so like that, perfect. Okay, so now we have moles of nitrogen and moles of nitrogen, so we can cancel those out. So the next thing we want to do is now we have moles, our answer, and moles of ammonia. And now the thing that we want to do now is we just want to switch that into grams of ammonia. So we use that using the again using the molar mass. So we have moles of ammonia. So we'll put one mole of ammonia on the bottom, and H three. And then we'll put its molecular weight, or its molar mass on the top. So we'll know that it'll be in grams of NH3. And let's look at this. Well, we had one nitrogen, we're rounding, so we're just going to say that's 14 grams per mole. And we had three hydrogens, they were each one gram per mole. So that's uh, 14 plus 3, we have 17 grams per mole. Again, remember, we're just rounding to the nearest numbers to make this easier. So now let's look at this. We have moles of ammonia here and moles of ammonia here. So now that's it. We have our we have our answer, or we have our units. Sorry, in grams of ammonia. So we can write our answer. We'll be here. We'll be in grams of NH3. Okay. So now all we have to do is we take our we take 150 times 2 times 17 and then divided by 28. And if you punch it in your calculator, we get 182. 182 grams of ammonia, and so let's look at this. This is our answer. This is the uh, this is how much um, how many grams of the product we uh, this is how many grams of the product we get if we combine 150 grams of ammonia with 50 grams of hydrogen. And so this makes sense. Remember we talked about it at the beginning. Well, with our some of the intuition we got from the first video is that our answer has to be in this situation, it has to be between 150 grams and 200, right? And so our answer is 182 grams, that seems reasonable. And the extra, um, the extra, I guess, 18 grams here that we're missing, that, you know, didn't make it into the products, 
was just hydrogen gas that is basically just floating around. It just didn't have anything to react with, so it's still hydrogen gas.